What's up, everybody? It's your boy from Ultimate Team Final Measures and First Story to Intel from Passing Gaming. So, as the title suggests, I'm going to show you how to place a burst disc in the First Strike 13 CSI tank. This is a problem I had last game I played. A uh, little issue with the tank, me being not paying attention, accidentally blew the burst disc. Uh, the burst disc pretty much uh, prevents, gets too much pressure being coming, putting too much pressure going into the tank. So it doesn't put the damage to the tank. Instead, it just pops a little diaphragm that's inside and leaks out all the air to prevent damage, to, you know, further damage to the tank. So pretty much, I overfilled it with too much pressure and it blew the tank. Now, I would highly recommend if you do paintball a lot and you go all the time and you go to big games, bring a backup tank. Because things like this can really mess up your day and the field I was on didn't have the copper burst disc to fix it so it left me at a real big disadvantage luckily I had an extra tank but always oh, just get an extra tank um so yeah so I checked in and I found out the 5k burst disc is the one that broke and placing burst disc I thought was difficult and it's actually pretty simple really simple island key put it in I already pre loosen it unscrew it and that's it. This is the new one I have. I have the old one right here. Um, it's only we'll be able to see the difference in them. But yeah, hmm. It focuses. There we go. Now the one right here. This is the new one, and this is the blown one. And as you can see, it's gonna refocus. I'm gonna refocus. Well. As you can see before, the one that was blown didn't have the little diaphragm in it, and the new one did. So pretty much that's why it, was, it pretty much blew. So pretty much take the new one, no grease, no nothing, no circle, no uh, I'm gonna say flex, no um, Teflon because it didn't come with this. You put it right back the way you found it. Remember, it is copper, so do not over tighten. Quick hand tight first. Take your Allen key, stick it in. Lightly torque it. There's a little slight torque. This slight tightening, and that's it. You know, check the other one. Make sure that one's tight. And that's it. This is just basic maintenance on your tank. I mean, a lot of people show painful videos about how to gun and stuff. Very, very few people show about basic maintenance for your tank. Uh, this is the most important part of your paintball gun. Without your tank, your gun's pretty much useless. So, basic maintenance is highly recommended. And to learn how to do basic maintenance on your tank is actually highly, you know, I recommend it because if you didn't have a back, if I didn't have a backup tank, and my whole day it drove out all those hours just to get there, over the ruin. So, basic, basic maintenance, make sure the o ring is good, make sure there's no crack, make sure your burst is so good. Just basic, you know, nothing crazy because there's not a lot of moving parts in here. And if you don't feel comfortable, take it to a paintball shop and have them verify, make sure your tank's in good working order. And if they can show you, they'll have no problem showing you what to do, how to keep your tank in good working condition. Because, like I said, about this, your gun is useless. And that's pretty much how you replace a burst disc. It's nothing really too crazy. It's very, very simple. Real quick, before I end this video, I also highly recommend getting a toolkit. Um, I see a lot of people at fields use these little loose, you know, island keys. There's nothing wrong with having loose island keys. Um, I have tons of them. My team uses tons of them. They also use the little ones that fold in like a keychain or whatever. But if you go paintball a lot, if your gun like me, my gun seems to always not have problems. But the weird stuff you know if it happens to me. You always want to make sure you have the tools to fix your gun and get right back there on the field. Instead of fumbling around and trying to get it done and um, take away time that you're playing on the field. Most people drive very long hours to get to a paintball field to pay to play for a couple hours just to have the gun break on them and then be pretty much passed out. So, basic toolkit. Was in my basic toolkit? This is the first top part. Real quick, pick. Good to take it off old rings and little small rings because it's those little evil small old rings that people with big hands can get to. So a pick. Simple cleaning tool, simple toothbrush, nothing too crazy. A knife, sometimes you can cut off those little O-rings that get into it, so an O-ring can jam, you know, just something crazy, a little box cutter. Screwdriver, this is not the actual right screwdriver I need, I need like a little fill up. I'm probably one of those things that have the little multi ones you can switch over, but a little screwdriver. Of course, more Allen keys up here. A little, me, I have a little toolbox to keep all my stuff together. 
my stuff organized. That's just me, but however you decide to do it, you can do it. Also, I like about this toolbox, it has a little compartment so you can put old things or whatever you want to put in there. For instance, I used to so break this, put in there, and that's it. Another thing, extra o rings. Highly needed. Uh, nothing crazy, they most of them are standard size and not standard size, so having the o ring kit helps out a lot. Things o rings break, small rings break, o ring kit, replace it, done. I'm going to do some more research because I don't think the tank o rings are definite, so these are white, or maybe it's just me, but probably get some extra o rings just specifically for the air tanks, but might not even need to. But straight o rings, so you need three bucks. Uh, comes with 100, 250, 20, 125 piece O-rings and the only rings you can replace it. Definitely highly recommend, especially for the big games where you never know what happens. Self-explanatory, everybody has a paintball gun, it's heavily into paintball. If you're new to paintball, definitely get yourself some oil for your gun. Um, gun, you know, it's for the O-ring, the O-rings lubricated, keep the gun moving good. Every time you see your gun, highly always lube up your gun. This is liquid fire from JT. Not really it's the most expensive oil, but it does the job. So definitely oil for your gun. And now some guns you oil, some guns you grease. Just make sure you read the instructions, find out what you can use for your gun. But definitely oil. Another thing, simple flashlight. Um, sometimes things are hard to see, sometimes things fall on the floor. If things fall on the floor, you don't want a flashlight to find it. Trust me. And last but not least, these are the these are the island keys that I like. Um, they're not small and compact, so you can't really take them onto the field with you. Sometimes you can't, but uh, my team has the other small O-rings that we bring on the field in case if something happens on the field. But mostly games we play ain't really that long, so we don't have the time to really search the gun on the field. Big games, yes, we do. But something like this, when you're in between the games, and you know, once the round's over, you have to service your gun. These are quicker, easier to me instead of. Instead of something like this, you don't have much to hold on to, but the little top part, you have this. Get in, do what you got to do and finish. I just like this over this. That's just my preference. Everybody has their own preference. But that's what I do. And I have a whole bunch of them. It makes my my job easier to fix it. Fix the, any problems with the gun. And of course, a little adjustable wrench. Um, sometimes there are things, like, especially for the other tanks um, that don't use... I don't use copper bursts. They use the regular thing. I got metal ones. I got the proper metal for it. And you can replace that with a um, adjustable wrench right here. And same concept. This one uses iron keys and one uses a nut. So definitely an adjustable wrench is always good to have on the field. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you don't need a crazy expensive toolkit. My toolkit on course me three bucks of that much to put together so you don't need nothing really crazy this basic toolkit anyway that being said this is your boy Fumbo from Team Final Measures and your boy First Lord 1012 from Bastard Gaming this is how you replace your burst sticks on your first strike 13 CSI tank and a little this is a little quick little tutorial on how to replace it and um, something you should bring and a couple tools you should bring on paintball field uh, don't some tools you should bring in general where you go paintballing for your gun. Anyway, if you like this video, video if you want me to see you do more videos about tutorials, about how to do certain things paintball related or even gaming. And if you want me to see you know more about my paintball stuff, how to keep my gear, you know, keep working or my equipment working for my gaming videos, like and like, subscribe and leave a comment below. And I'd love to hear from you guys. I always try to reply to everybody who um, comments on my videos even though it's not a lot of you guys but anybody that comes my videos you'll definitely get a reply from me so anyway this is your boy from bastard gaming and from team final measures peace